What's up guys, Halo 2 10 year anniversary, it's here. I'm here to tell you, bouncing is still in the game. It's a fact, confirmed. It's just a little bit different, we'll go over it all in a minute. This is Spasti Trigger, Glitch Manjaro, MK Gaming. Check us out on YouTube, more to follow. Okay, so the reason Super Bouncing used to work the way that it did was because it ran at 30 frames per second, 25 if you were on a PAL system. Now, it had a animation collision detection frame check that would fire off every full frame. So that means that if you were high enough, you had enough fall speed, and you had a charge, you would essentially penetrate the map in between the frame check. When the frame check fired off, it would detect your collision and shoot you out. So now that we're at 60 frames per second, everything's a little different. Um, we obviously have twice as many frame checks. So we need twice as much speed or velocity uh, in order to penetrate the map in the same way that we would have before, before the frame check fires. So what you need now is big air. In some way, shape, or form, you need to get yourself some big air. Most of the small little starter bounces that start within the map and, and lead to chains that would take you out and all that, they no longer work. Um, so basically uh, some kind of jump like this like a walk off or, or a jump with, with a lot of velocity you can still hit that you can still chain these bounces together no problem um, but, but your little starting bounce uh, that's going to be an issue that no longer works uh, so what we're left with now is you can use a tank slap method like we're using here a very specific uh, tank flip glitch in the corner over there where we're doing it gives you a vertical lift almost every single time uh, as you can see here, I'll, I'll pretty much get a vertical uh, lift and I'll be able to come down and start start bouncing. Uh, so there's a, there's a ton of ways to get big air in Halo. I mean, let's talk about it. We've got Banshee bouncing, you have somebody line up on the ground, start hitting you in the air. As long as you have a charge, you'll be able to hit bounces. Uh, you can have somebody pressure launch you with the Wraith up against the wall. As long as you have a charge, you're going to be able to bounce on the way down. Um, you can use the shields on Relic, which I'll show you in a minute too. I use that to get on top of the Relic. Uh, real quick, here's a bounce we found last night when we were messing around release day. Um, I don't remember this bounce ever being this high, but this thing is a monster now, dude. It takes you twice, maybe three times as high as the crane. You're right at the ceiling when you hit this bounce. Um, I don't know if anyone can confirm if there used to be a monster there from back in the day, but uh, we weren't ready for it. So yeah, let's let's go over the frame or the shield launch real quick. Uh, this is from back in the day as well. As long as you're host and you have a rocket launcher, you can step onto this shield. Uh, make sure you have a charge before you do it, obviously, and you'll get enough height to start bouncing. So again, Spasti Trigger, Glitch Manjaro, uh, MNK Gaming Nation. Stay tuned. We'll have a lot more videos, I'm sure. Um, as we start redoing all our favorite old glitches, we'll post them up. Uh, try to give credit where it's due to anyone if we can remember who found it or who or what clan originally released it. Um, yeah, we're just going to be putting it up. So if you'd like to see some other stuff, make sure you check out uh, Raiden, uh, V, Raiden V. He did a lot of Halo 2 Vista bouncing. This is essentially a port of Halo 2 Vista, so anything you see in his videos can be done here. Um, I know for a fact the monster bounced, the tree monster was hit.